This is my beautiful wife, Vanessa. I'm Kino Flores Jr. And together we're Mr. and Mrs. Kino Flores Jr. We met four years ago at my grandparents' house. His parents really wanted for him to meet me. I really wasn't interested, but um, it took us a little bit. He was in Florida, or moving to Florida at the time, and I was studying at UT in Austin. Um, about two years after that, he decided he was going to move back to Texas, and he called me and wanted to go to dinner and wanted to take me out. And after that, I kind of just let go and let him sweep me off my feet. And here we are, <laughs> four years later, married, four months married. We're gonna take you guys to the good part, me proposing to Vanessa. We dated for about two years, give or take about two and a half years. Dated for two years, Vanessa decided she was gonna move away to law school. And did that for about mm, three or four months and I guess we both decided that the timing was right. We started talking about it, she started dropping the hints. No, it's that time. That's a lot. <laughs> so she was in law school for about three months and talked to my parents, talked to her parents and kind of let them know what was coming decided one night, we went out to dinner, came home, and it was actually coincidental that we were watching the movie The Proposal, and Vanessa says that I did it all on purpose, but <laughs> I think it was just kind of fate, so I knew she would be waking up for school the next morning, so I actually ran into the restroom, got one of her lipsticks that she didn't really use. So A she better went, lipstick that I always use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so decided to write, will you marry me in the mirror, and wrote it on there, and next morning at about 7.30, I wake up to a bunch of screaming and hollering, and oh my gosh, and <laughs> yeah, she came running in and said yes. And gave her the ring, she was shocked, and, and we started calling people. We, the reason that he wrote it on the mirror is because for a while, I guess our whole relationship really, we kind of did the back and forth thing and I was away at school and he would leave me messages on the mirror and so I would leave messages on the mirror. And so when he proposed, I thought it was really cute and really special to both of us because it was something that no one really knew we did. It was kind of a private thing. And um, so needless to say, it was really, really romantic. <laughs> and the message is still there. So yeah. she's got another two years on her lease. So it'll be there for about another two years. <laughs> so one of the very first things we did um, was go and try on wedding dresses. I guess that's your typical new bride, you want to try on wedding dresses. And so I came home um, that same weekend and I asked my mom to go with me and we ended up going to Esposa Mia Bridal. The dress is absolutely gorgeous. It was a corset top. It had a sweetheart neckline and it was strapless. It had a bunch of beading, intricate beading. It sparkled. <laughs> you couldn't even imagine how much. Um, and it had a huge ball gown. I think it was raw silk is what it was and it was just incredible. It was big. It was poofy. It was so sparkly, so beautiful. I couldn't have picked a better dress. I don't think I don't I mean, I guess everyone says that, but the dress was gorgeous and it made me feel beautiful on the day of and that's what I wanted to feel. So, I was really happy with the dress and now it's hanging up at my grandma's house, I think. And no one's allowed to touch it. <laughs> When Vanessa came into our shop, she kind of had an idea what she was looking for in a gown. She tried on several styles, and when she tried on this gown, it was love at first sight. She fell in love with it. The gown was by the designer Ines Di Santo, one of our exclusive designers. This gown looked beautiful on her. It was an all hand beaded Swarovski crystals corseted bodice. The skirt was a full ball gown skirt in French silk fabric, which was very lightweight. It was nice to see how her eyes sparkled when she knew this gown was the one. If you are a bride that's looking for the perfect wedding gown, visit us at Sposa Mia Bridal on North 10th Street in McAllen. All right, so after my deed was done and I put the ring on her finger, then it was Vanessa's job to now take over and start planning the wedding. After we went through a bajillion magazines, um, I kind of came up with a garden theme and I wanted something really, really different. And we're a really, I guess everyone says this, but we're a really unique couple and he loves the outdoors and when we started dating, we started doing those things together and so I started to love the outdoors as well and I just thought it would be really nice if our if our wedding reflected who we were and what we like to do and so I thought of kind of bringing the outdoors inside for our wedding, especially here in the valley. There's no way to have an outdoor wedding without sweating every second of it. We went to a bridal expo and we kind of got together with several vendors here in the valley and 
we initially thought we weren't going to need a wedding planner and we thought we could do this all on our own. And uh, But with me being away at school and I was in Houston, so I didn't have c complete access to everything here in the Valley. We thought that going with a wedding planner would probably be a really good idea. It was a so, great idea. <laughs> so at the Bridal Expo, we got to meet um, Mariana and Southern Social Events. And she kind of just told us, you know, we could do whatever you need us to do however you need us to do it. And I explained our situation, extremely helpful. They're, they were just with us every step of the way and gave us the wedding of our dreams and helped me make that outdoor theme come true. And we couldn't have been happier with the service we got from Southern Social Events. So keeping with the outdoor theme, we tried to incorporate real trees into our reception site. And so we had huge trees covered in orchids and they had hanging candles and crystals. And that was probably one of my favorite focal points in our reception were these trees and they were in the middle of the hall, in the middle of tables, I guess just all over. So it was absolutely gorgeous. On the tables, we had both round and rectangular tables. And uh, for the round tables, we used a, sort of a wooden bird cage and it had hydrangeas just because I wanted it to look really rustic and really outdoorsy. She was already tired of getting too many rules. <laughs> so we used a lot of different flowers and um, they were, I think they were mostly cream or white. Um, we just really st stuck to the earth tones and white, white colored flowers and curly willow and greenery. It was just, I was really, really happy with the outcome and with the look of our wedding. So as Vanessa said earlier, I really didn't have a lot to do, didn't make very many decisions with regards to the wedding, but when we got to the reception, one of the first things I noticed was the details. I guess the theme of my wedding was unique. I wanted to be unique. And so we met with Kimberly from All Occasions and she brought out a brand new linen. She had just, I think she had just received it. Uh, the detail was beautiful. It was just kind of like a really heavy lace. When we actually saw a table put together because she came and laid everything out, uh, the color was beautiful. I think it was kind of a, I guess a rose, brownish rose color, which was just something we had never seen and it really, really fit the color of the flowers and the earthy tones and really helped everything stand out on the table. We chose a different linen for the longer tables and we had a really good mix of colors, a really good mix of textures and that was all thanks to Kimberly. She helped set it up and she helped the wedding look absolutely fabulous, absolutely different and just something that we had never seen before. And one of the things I really, really wanted was a fountain. How they made this work, I have no idea, <laughs> but we had a, I want to say it was a six foot working fountain right in the entrance of our reception, covered in flowers on the bottom. We had that at the entrance, we had a bowl of shiny new pennies, and it was just really cute signs, the sign by the fountain that said, make a wish for the bride and groom. We had signs everywhere that were just amazing. I'm pretty sure Mariana spent hours painting and finishing and touching and writing on them, and they're absolutely fantastic, and they, they really, 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 Popped. And that was one of the surprises to me, you know, I didn't know what these signs were going to say, I didn't know what they were going to look like, and when we got there, it was just kind of amazing to me, and I'd go and I'd stand by the tree and try and read what they, what they said, and by the fountain, and it was just really, really nice, the details were really, really great. We had a sign-in table that was really, really unique and different. The table was covered with his grandparents' wedding pictures, my grandparents' wedding pictures, um, our parents' wedding pictures and our engagement pictures. And it was just really nice to see the generations and um, our families and that they were all represented and that they were all uh, displayed. And it was really important to us. And so it was just a way of saying thank you to them and uh, a way of letting them know how much we love them and how much they mean to us and how much they've inspired the kind of love that we share.
keeping with tradition, we didn't see each other the day of our wedding and or the night before. Well, we had our rehearsal, but after the rehearsal, we didn't see each other until the actual ceremony. And I got to spend time with my mom and my sister and my bridesmaids, and it was really a really fun day. We got our hair done. We had a really good time um, just spending time with my sister and being able to share those moments and be excited and be nervous. And I, one of my bridesmaids, or actually she was our lector, she had a, you know, an alert every hour. She'd be like, okay, only five more hours till you're gonna be married, only four more hours. And I'm like, cut it out, you're making me really nervous. Well, as for me, like Vanessa said, the wedding served to bring a lot of people together, bring the bridesmaids and the groomsmen, which sometimes serve <laughs> as a source of entertainment, sometimes for the good, sometimes for the bad. But a lot of my childhood friends came into town. We also had a countdown, not as joyful as Vanessa's. They were like, it's, you have three hours to leave. We can take you out. The bus has gas. We can go. So we all know I showed up for the wedding. So. <laughs> Thank God. So once we were done getting ready, me and my grooms and my clan, as I called them, we loaded up in the bus and we drove over to St. Joseph's in Edinburgh. That's where we got married. So showing up to the church, I saw all the flowers, the decorations. I was just in awe of what they had done with the church. It's a small, quaint church. It's not too, too big. We managed to fill it up, but, yeah. <laughs> but it was just, the decorations were beautiful. Everything was very classy, very elegant. I stayed in the car, in the limo, until I want to say like seconds before. And when the doors opened, I just had breathed a sigh of relief and I was excited that he was there. <laughs> but I'm really excited to be walking towards him and really happy to see that he was happy to be there. To me, it was one of the highlights of the wedding, getting to see those doors open and see that light behind Vanessa. And you know, some people say that they look back at the groom to figure out what the groom's face is like. And I'm sure that it was a look of shock because it was just absolutely beautiful and amazing to see Vanessa walking down the aisle in that dress. And it was just, it was breathtaking. The ceremony was beautiful and we were really blessed to have all of our family there, all of our friends there. And I remember my dad saying, right before we walked through the doors, you know, are you ready? And I just, I don't think I could have been more ready. And uh, I was really excited and just being there and seeing Junior and, and being able to, you know, say these vows. And, and you know, I got advice from one of our uh, madrinas now. And she said, whatever you do when it comes time to say the vows, take your time, really listen to what you're saying, and, you know, really mean it. When that time came, I remember just slowing down and looking at him and saying, okay, you know, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health. And, um, you know, that at that moment, though, I don't remember, remember seeing anyone else. <laughs> you know, there's very few times in, in our lives or in your life, in one's life, when something really dawns on them and the reality and I guess the the importance of the situation comes to being. And I think when we got to the wedding, like Vanessa said, there was no one else in that church when we started to exchange those vows and I heard her make the, those promises to me and vice versa. I think that kind of got lost in the moment and just realized that it was just gonna be Vanessa and I for a really long time. And as soon as we exchanged them, we had a little slip up with the priest. He forgot to, to give the command, go ahead and kiss the bride. So we kind of <laughs> took it upon ourselves to kiss each other and I think we, We'd been waiting for about 20 hours to yeah. kiss each other. So we were ready to do it and then ready to party after that. <laughs> right after our ceremony, we took the time to take some pictures with our family and just get some nice family pictures that we could put up in our, in our house. And for our moms, you know, crazy, excited moms. But um, we, our photographer is, or was, Erica, Erica Velasco. We met her um, through Southern Social Events. She did our engagement session the wedding day and the day after. And um, we just really enjoyed working with her. More than anything, the pictures were amazing, but more than anything, we enjoyed working with Erica. She made it really easy, really fun, really comfortable, and we never felt, you know, that we were being fake or just uncomfortable, and she captured really good moments. She captured really good emotions, and we are just really, really happy with the work that she did. Well, like all things that are worth waiting for after the wedding was over and after things calmed down, about a week or two later, we finally got the pictures from Erica and finally got the link from Erica to 
jump online and look at the pictures and i think we All went 1, through yeah we went through 1500 pictures <laughs> one at a time and finally came to my favorite one which was the one running out of the church where there was a lot of rose petals and erica did a really good job of positioning herself and making sure that she caught the expressions on our face the rose petals and made sure to not have a photo bomber in there messing the picture up <laughs> And my favorite picture was a picture she took of Junior, um, I guess as I was walking in the church and seeing that picture of him, you know, just brought that moment back and it was a really, really good picture of Junior and it really, really captured how excited or how much emotion um, he felt at that very moment. And so that has to be my all time favorite picture. I met Vanessa when she was planning her wedding and I met with her to talk to her about her wedding photography. And I instantly knew that we were a great match because she had a really clear vision for her wedding. Um, lots of details, you know, very big elaborate wedding, but also she was just a really laid back, cool, really nice girl and I knew that we would be a great fit together. I'm Erica Velasco, a modern lifestyle wedding photographer. We also had a videographer um, video our wedding which is really really neat. We got to have him video, he videoed our engagement session and he also did our wedding day. We haven't seen the finished product yet but we did get a highlight film and we are really really happy with that and the work that he's given us and um, we he also captured moments that were really special to us like our first dance and our brothers and sisters um, speeches and it was just really nice how he pieced it together and I mean I cried through the entire <laughs> highlight film so I was really happy with with his work and really glad that we got to work with John. One of the funner things that we did with John and this is just a Testament to John's commitment to his work. We actually got a videographer with his $5,000 camera, convinced him that it was safe to jump on the boat and go take a ride on the boat with his video equipment. So that was one of the funner things that we did with John. Well, as with any other wedding, there was gonna be a hitch and there was no hitch at the ceremony. There was no hitch on the way to the ceremony. There was no hitch anywhere throughout the wedding up until we get to the reception. So we show up at the reception, we're really excited to get off, ready to run off the car and just barge into the wedding, crash the party. Everybody was at 750 people there. And so as we're about to walk in, Mariana walks out and says, wait, can't go anywhere. Dad's not here. There's a wardrobe malfunction. I said, what do you mean a wardrobe malfunction? He's like, his zipper broke. So at this point, we're sitting in the bus, 10 minutes, turns into 20, then 30. So we're fine. Like, no, we got to get off. These people are waiting. So. We walked in and it was just, saw the, the wishing well, saw the doors, heard the announcement, and that's really when the doors opened, it was like, wow, got to see the groom cake, the tower, and the mass of people. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we walked in, they announced, I guess for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Kino Flores Jr. So finally I was just like, oh my gosh, we're married, and now it's time to party. And then it was time for our first dance, which we chose a song that we both really liked and it really expressed, I guess, what we felt for each other and the kind of relationship that we had. And it was by a group called Steel Magnolia and the title is Halo and Wings. He danced with his mom and I got to dance with my dad. Overall, we, I was really, really happy with the look of our wedding and how it all came together. And I was really, really, really surprised that it looked the way I had imagined it looking. You know, you always imagine that it's gonna look spectacular and you kind of prepare yourself for it not looking exactly how you've dreamed it, but it was exactly what I was expecting and exactly what I hoped for. And so we danced, we ate cake, we cut the cake, we took pictures with everyone, said hi to everyone, and pretty much danced the night away. I think at one point we were on the stage <laughs> uh, waving our hands in the air, and we had a great band who um, hadn't performed in a really long time and we asked them if they could please please come perform at our wedding and so it was crossfire and they just did an amazing job there was never a dull moment the music was fantastic everyone was always dancing and I don't think we could have had more fun and I, I just we really 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 enjoyed our reception I dedicated a song to Junior through my sister so my sister 
saying. And that was a huge point of contention. All leading up to the wedding date, the speeches were、yeah. the big deal, and everyone was wondering what Desi was going to do and what my little brother Eric was going to do. And he kept asking, "Is Desi going to sing a song? Because <laughs> maybe I need to sing. And what am I going to do to one up her? And what is she going to do to one up me?" The thing was, I didn't let her choose what she was going to sing. I was like, "No, I would, you know, up until I think a week before, she's like, 'Am I going to sing or not?'" And I said, "Well, I don't know yet." And so finally, I thought, you know, there's another song I really like. I can't keep my eyes off of you by Lady Antebellum, and she did a fantastic job, and I know that we enjoyed dancing to it. One of the, I guess, the funnest parts of our wedding was getting to throw the bouquet in the garter, and、uh, I had a friend of mine who was like, "Don't throw it at me! I'm not going to catch it. Don't even think about it." She ended up catching it, and when she caught it, I was like, "I told you," and、uh, she was just. Really, really, really. I think she was excited after a while, and I think the garter he、uh, put on a show for me <laughs>、uh, to take off the garter. And when he finally threw it, my cousin Juan Carlos caught it, and so that was just really funny. There was really funny pictures of them biting the garter, and I think my grandma actually got a copy of that. Well, babe, it's been four months since August the sixth. We're still married, so good news. <laughs> But I just want to thank you for making that day the day of my dreams, and making it all possible, and taking charge, and making all my dreams come true. And I want to thank you for allowing me to have the wedding of our dreams and to plan it and to trust me with that. And thank you for being a great husband for the four months. And <laughs>、um, I, as always, have looked forward to. Our future together, and I continue to look forward to it. And I'm glad that this day was really special, and it was everything that we wanted it to be. We just want to thank everyone. We want to thank our families. We want to thank them for the support and the love that they show us every day. But most importantly, on our special day. And we also want to thank our padrinos and madrinas who、um, have also provided a really good example and who have. So far, been there、um, for anything that we need, and just keeping in touch with us. And we thank our all of our friends, our groomsmen, our bridesmaids, and any everyone that shared that day with us and helped make it even more spectacular. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Kino. We're Mr. and Mrs. Kino Flores Jr. And we hope that you enjoyed our love story.